Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida chose the Texas-Mexico border to make the first policy proposal of his presidential campaign, a plan to tighten border security. After, his campaign tweeted this picture with the words, Mission, Stop the Invasion. Behind him, a helicopter owned by the Texas Department of Public Safety. The aircraft also appears in this video the campaign tweeted out. Some government accountability groups in Texas are now raising red flags. There are photos and videos of him using a helicopter that's owned by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Uh, the use of state resources, taxpayer-funded resources, um, for a candidate for federal office is a violation of state law. Uh, so what we're really concerned about here is a misapplication of state resources. The day before the policy proposal, DeSantis took part in a briefing with the Texas Department of Public Safety. In a statement, DPS suggested DeSantis's visit related to his responsibilities as Florida's governor, saying it was, quote, coordinated by Florida and Texas law enforcement partners who are currently working together along the Texas-Mexico border. The statement went on to say the aerial tour aimed to give DeSantis a clearer understanding of how Florida resources are being utilized along our southern border and see the challenges firsthand. DPS did not disclose to Spectrum News how much the tour cost or comment on the aircraft appearing on the campaign social media. The next day, footage of the event, which was clearly taken, you know, by the campaign, um, is being used for campaign social media. I, I think it just doesn't really hold water that this was all about uh, him being governor and, and thus being entitled to use public resources. When he was in Texas, DeSantis also toured the border on a boat owned by the state of Florida. In a statement, his office characterized the boat trip as a routine patrol and that taking part in it is not outside the purview of the governor's job as the state's chief executive. DeSantis's campaign did not respond to requests for comment. The Texas chapter of Public Citizen has called on DeSantis to reimburse Texas, and it has filed a public records request seeking more information about the DPS briefing and who exactly in Texas signed off on the trip. Ultimately, it's the responsibility of state officials, but candidates for public office should be held to a high standard. And that's what we're asking for is accountability um, and appropriate use of taxpayer dollars. Texas law limits state agencies and employees from using their official authority for political purposes. For Spectrum News, I'm Rena Diamante. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on Dish and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.